Good afternoon on this Thursday, September 6th. And we had a repair guy come out today. That was a cluster. $85 later, the guy pretty much looked at me and was like, I can fix it for 200 bucks, but um, I wouldn't. What? <sighs> the tub in there, it, we have a front loader washing machine and the tub of it rocks back and forth. It has done that for like years. When I say years, I mean like eight, nine, ten years. It has rocked back and forth, okay? I'm going to show you if I can. Let's see if I can get it to do it. But, so, see how it rocks back and forth? It has been doing that for a long, like almost, we've had this washer for 15 years this fall. It's been doing that for like ever, okay? And the guy's like, oh my gosh, that means that it's shot. You can't. You, you, you have to replace this, otherwise it could, the, whole, the whole thing could blow up. And I'm like, blow up? Really? Blow up? You're telling me my washing machine could blow up? Not that I don't think the washing machines can't blow up, but I think he was being a little bit dramatic. <sighs> um, but it's been doing that for years. Like, literally, our washing machine has been doing that for years. Um... <sighs> He didn't even, I like, and then I said, no, 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 this is what happened. And he's like, oh, your husband just said it was leaking. Like I told him, I was like, the tub filled up, water was dripping out the front. He's like, oh, your husband said it was leaking. That's not what he told me. Uh, what you're telling me is different from what he told me. That's a different issue. But he's like, I wouldn't put one penny into this. He's like, I can replace your water valve. I think it's a water valve. And then there was like another piece. Um, and he's like, over time, the water valve can wear out because of like hard water, which we have hard water in this house. And he's like, so that could, you know, you could definitely, that could definitely be the problem is that the, the little rubber gasket that's in there that closes to shut off the water or to stop the water from getting into the tub um, can get built up with uh, particles and stuff from the hard water. I was like, yeah, we've got hard water. So, honey, what do you want? What do you want, honey? What? You want to come up? Okay, come on, come on. Okay. You want to be on the blog. I love you. Now you want to be on the blog. <laughs> anyway, so then he was like, okay, well, it's going to cost about 200 bucks between labor and parts and everything. It's going to be 200 bucks. I was like, well, can you fix it today? He's like, no, I have to order the parts. But I wouldn't put a penny into this thing. It's 15 years old. You've been on borrowed time for 10 years. Washing machines only last five years. And I'm like, what? What, Wednesday? What? That's not very fun. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Anyway, get down. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I gotta talk to John tonight and figure out what he wants to do. I'm really not interested in investing in a new washing machine. He, the guy said that he's like, keep the dryer. The dryer's fine. As long as it's running, just keep the dryer. You don't have to worry about replacing the dryer. Um, he's like, I wouldn't put a penny into this washing machine and I would replace it. But I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna buy a new washing machine. I don't want a new washing machine. I like my washing machine Wednesday. I like it a lot. Anyway, I don't know what we're going to do. i got to talk to John about it later. But I'm still working. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon uh, by the time I'm getting going today. So, there's that. Uh, I, I've been going all day. I mean, I've been working since this morning. I got my blood draw today. Uh, they're checking my A1C. They're checking my insulin. And they're checking my thyroid, which is good. Hopefully, I will be able to see those results online tomorrow. Um, I am going to go to the dietitian on Monday. I'm not going back to the doctor though. I don't know if I told you guys, but the doctor's office, I think I told you on Friday that the doctor told me to, the, not my doctor, but another doctor in the practice said, just stop the medicine. And they told me that expect a call on Tuesday from your doctor when she gets back in the office. Today's Thursday. Guess what I haven't gotten? I haven't gotten a call from my doctor's office. I don't think I told you guys that yesterday, but... Yeah. Yeah. I didn't tell them. I don't think. Maybe I did. But anyway, I, I haven't gotten a call back from the doctor. 
it's been almost a week, tomorrow's a week. And as long as my numbers keep being okay, I don't think I'm gonna take medicine. And I'm gonna cancel that appointment because that doctor is a uh, nincompoop. I mean, she can't be that stupid. She had to have gone to medical school, right? But there's always someone graduating last in, her, in their class at medical school. Not everybody can be first in their class, top of their class. But anyway, I digress. I am gonna go to the dietitian on Monday because what I figured I'd do is talk to her about my diet, what's working. I'm not following her diet, which I know she'll probably be like, well, that's your decision. Um, but I wanna get some feedback on my, my blood results, my blood test results. So that's why I'm going back to see her on Monday and she swears she's going to bill it as nutrition service so that it's covered by my insurance, which is good. So um, yeah, but I wanted to get this blood drawn today so that I will have those results when I go to my new doctor in November. And I don't think I'm gonna take any more medicine. As long as my numbers with my diet being modified are okay, um, I don't think I'm gonna worry about taking any pills. Like I'm gonna to continue to test my blood every day. I only check once a day. Um, I check one time a day and I check at different times. So, so like today I checked after breakfast. Um, oftentimes I check in the morning, especially days I go into the office, I check first thing in the morning when I wake up. Um, and every once in a while, uh, I'll check after dinner. I normally don't do after dinner, but I do check it every once in a while. Um, but I don't normally check it after dinner just because we usually don't eat dinner until like 6.30ish. And by that time, I sometimes forget to check it. In fact, the couple of times that I've said, I'm gonna check it after dinner. There've been a couple of times that I've forgotten to take it because of that. Cause I get busy. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, there you are. I love her. I love Buttercup too, but I can't hold Buttercup. She's too big. I mean, I can, but not, I can't hold her and my camera. Anyway, good afternoon on this Thursday. Uh, it is 2.30. Like I said, people are going to start showing up at home. Well, Nick will be first. Nick will be home around 3.45. John won't be too far behind. And then Neil actually works until 5.30 today. He worked during the day, 9 to 5.30. So he's going to be He's going to be the last one home tonight. So, all right, I'm going to get back to work and I will see you guys later on today. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. So real quick, it is actually the next morning, but I did not film anything else yesterday. So I figured I'd come on here real quick and just say good night. Good day. Good night. Um, yesterday night, I was in texting with my sister a whole lot. We finally got our uh, license to collect sales tax in the state even though the stuff we're going to be working with isn't actually sales tax we just need that for like purposes I'll get into it here soon um, I swear like next week I'm gonna tell you guys all about it but we got that and uh, we worked on um, our logo so uh, we were going back and forth I was designing a logo sending it to her she was giving me some feedback and that sort of stuff so that's what we, that's what I pretty much did all night last night um, edited video as well so that was my evening uh i totally spazzed totally forgot to film but i wanted to come on here real quick and close out the vlog from yesterday so yesterday i was very thankful that my sister and i agreed on a logo because it means we can start doing designs and stuff um we agreed on a logo i already designed our uh, business cards um, I'm waiting to get notice back from the state on our sales tax license, um, which I need to register for next month when we're going to go travel to uh, to a, a, an expo um, mid-month. And I got to get that done soon so I can get that registered. Um, Saturday, we're going to go out in the morning and get our bank account set up for our business. So lots of good stuff going on. So I was really happy that we got our, our logo done last night. I showed it to Neil. I showed it to John. They both gave us some feedback. So. Anyhow, I hope today was better than yesterday, and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I'll see you today, but you'll see me tomorrow. So, uh, And I'll have the same clothes on, because I just got out of the shower. So, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.